Okay, so what I'm going to do today is we're actually going to go through and create a sales funnel with follow-up uh, reminders for a particular event. And in this case, it's going to be a live masterclass. So I'm going to run the masterclass on a specific date and we're going to put that into the system and then we'll set up an order form, allow people to purchase or register for the masterclass at the same time, but it's a paid masterclass. Uh, and in this instance, what I'm doing is I'm going to set up two options uh, because we've got members which can attend a masterclass for free or we've got non-members uh, and they have to pay and we've set the fee at $20.23 because the year is 2023. So let's look at what we need to do first. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can create a landing page uh, to accept the orders uh, or you can create the products first uh, and then go back and forth. But what we're going to do now is I'm just going to create the, um, the landing page to start with. So if we go down to sites, and this is all in um, our CRM system, which is a version of Go High Level. If you've got Go High Level, you'll be able to use this. If you haven't got Go High Level, there will be links in the um, in the chat to show you how to do this uh, and go and register with Go High Level. Or if you want to come in through our system, there'll also be links with that as well. So you can uh, purchase through us. So, um, but let's get into it. So I'm going to now just select sites because what we want to do is we want to set up a sales funnel. Now, when I set these up, normally what I do is I put things into folders because it makes it nice and easy. So in this folder, I'm actually going to create a folder and I'm just going to call it sales funnel. Uh, because that's what we're going to create, okay? So it creates the folder. And we should have it theoretically. Here we go. It's an alphabetical order. So we select the sales funnel. Now I actually want to create the actual funnel itself. Now, there are options here to pick up templates. We're not going to do that. We're just going to create it from scratch. I'm going to give it a name and sales funnel. Um, the sales funnel masterclass. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to be using it again through the setup, as you'll see. So it's going to create the funnel. Okay, we we'll click on the sales funnel. It's asking me what steps do I want because we can have multiple steps in the sales funnel. And we're just going to do one at this stage. So it asked me for the name and that's why I copied that. Name. And we're going to put the sales funnel in here and hit create the sales funnel. So now we want to build a page. So we're going to build it from scratch. First thing I'll want to do is put some kind of an image in to give it a little bit of a lift on the page. So we're going to have it a full width. We will, how many rows do we want? Well, I normally set up with three. And the reason I do that is it gives me the option of moving these margins in and out easily. So if I select this, now what do I want? I want an image. So I'm going to go down and find the image option down here which is here. When I look at this image, if I look at the menus down the side here, it's gonna have a position down here with a URL to the image. So I'm gonna select the image. We can create one with AI or we can upload one from our media library. Okay, I don't have the image that I want in here. So I'm gonna to go to our desktop. So I'm gonna upload the file. Um, and if I go to Fred Gillen and desktop, uh, this is one of the ones I've just created. So I'm just going to click on that image, loading the image down here. The image is in, and we've now got our image. And this is where I was saying here that we can make this any size we want by just moving it in and out. Now, the next thing we can do is we can actually add something here and put in some bullet points. So we can put in a header. So, in our masterclass. We can then add a subheader if we want. Right? And I'm, I'm going to be running these on a Wednesday, so I'm going to put it in as a... Actually, it's on Tuesday. Um, Eastern Standard Time is what I want, so it's Tuesday. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right, And then if we want to, we can add more text and put a paragraph in here. I'm not going to 
type in anything here, but I can come back to that. The next thing I want to do is I actually want to put the order form on the page so people can sign up. So next thing, I'll just search for order. So we've got a two-step order form down here. Now, the reason I like the two-step is that if somebody fills in the form, which is their name, emails, and to just to start the process, if they don't complete the, the purchase, then I can email them because I've got the details. If we have a one stage order form or a one step order form and they just fill, start to fill it in but don't complete it, then we don't get that detail. So that's the reason I select the two step order form. So we're going to put that in. Now, when we look at this, um, I don't want shipping. So, uh, and we don't want a lot of these details in here. All I want is, and we don't want the company name. So I just want these three fields. So all I'm going to do is I go over here into advanced. And it's asking me for information down here. We scroll down and it's got shipping highline, show shipping. No, we don't want to show shipping. Right. So let's remove that portion of it. And we just got to find where it says uh, show company name. We don't want to show the company name in there either. So I'm going to show hide company name. Now here it's got shipping in here. We don't really want that. So again, um, what we can do is we can have a look where it says shipping here and change that. And I'm going to, and let's get it right. Your details. So we've got that. And then the subheading under the cells and we've got where to be shipping. I'm going to change that. Into below. And if we click on step two, we can actually do the same thing again. So I've got your info. Payment, and then we can just see. And we'll set instead of upgrade, we'll just make them. So instead of that, we just got to save that and make it complete your order. Okay. So that makes it look okay now. And then we can save. Now, the issue we've got here is that I'm just going to save that. That's all for SEO purposes. We're not using SEO in this landing page. But the issue we've got now is that we've got no product. And this is just generic stuff here. But we've got no product added to this page. So the next thing we need to do is just clear that. And we'll go back out. So we just save the page. Make sure we save the page. Okay, you never know if the internet goes down. You just got to save the page. Save it again to make sure. And then we'll just go back one step. Okay. It takes a little bit of time to load. So we're back at this step here now. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to have a look at products that we're going to add to this page. So if we've already got the product created, it makes it nice and easy because we just actually add a product and we get an option to select from existing product, but we don't have an existing product for this. So I'm just going to click on create a new product. We create product. It's going to give it a sales funnel. Masterclass title, you can put a description in here if you want. We move down and we go, okay, what's the, the service type? Service type, one time payment. Um, it's in US dollars and it's $20.23 because the year is 2023. Now I can add more prices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a special price. So that's one time, right? So we can give this a pricing name and I'm going to go non members. On members and then we're going to go here and members at one time and it's zero right and we're going to save that okay we're going to save it again just to double check and make sure and we'll go back a stage right so we've got the sales funnel here we're going to open it again So 
Sorry, that's it. We're in the payments, my mistake. So we go back to sites. Go down to the sales funnel. We open it again. And now we've we've got the products in here. So we've just got a products. It's asking us to add the product. We have a look at the drop down here. And it's got the sales funnel product. Okay. Now, when we got the sales funnel, it's actually got two. So I've got non-members and members. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to add this one, right? And then I say save. And we're going to add another product. And this time we do exactly the same. So we pick the sales funnel option. And the next one is we pick the members option. Okay. And we hit save. Okay. Now we go to overview. We could actually go and have a look at this. So if we open it up, we can actually look at it. But one of the things I want to do is we want to set up a page so it um, we can find it easily. So if I go to settings here, we've got this funnel, but we haven't selected a domain to connect it to. So I just do the drop down. I'm going to pick a shortener domain, which is double M I M dot A U. We pick that. I'm going to save that. And sometimes if we've already created a similar name, it may change it. So we just got to double check on that. Um, it's actually added some letters here. I'm going to go to publishing. I'm going to actually del delete those numbers that are here. Let's see if it saves it. Okay, so it saved it. So it's a nice um, looking URL for that. We can check the URL here by click on the up arrow. Okay, and now we've got the information. So let me just fill this in as a test. So we can fill that in, phone number. And that is my phone number. So if you want to contact me, you feel free. Step two. Okay, and we've got the two options. So we can go zero or one. Okay, and actually we can't have zero, so somebody will have to pay one cent to actually get in. So um, it's a little bit of a bug in um, this software, but if you know if uh, a member wants to pay one cent, uh, I'll happily refund it. Okay, so so that's that stage of it. Now, what happens next? Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to start looking at automations. Right. And again, I'm going to create a funnel or a folder, sorry. And we give it the same name, create it. Move down and find it. It's probably well on the next page. Oh, sorry, it was there. I just saw it. So sales funnel and masterclass, we can click in here. We create the workflow. And the workflow is how all automation starts. And we're going to create one from scratch. There are recipes in here that you can play with. And have a look at and utilize to your leisure and um, but this time we're just going to do one uh, from scratch and first thing we need to do is we need to set the trigger so what is going to start this workflow well somebody purchasing the order will start the workflow the other thing i'm going to do here is change the name so we can over type this and this this is why i keep this in the clipboard or in memory um, so we just click off the page and that will save that. We look for a trigger. I'm going to go for order form. It goes. So we got order form submission and order submitted. Now, this is the piece where I was talking about if somebody fills in step, step one and doesn't fill in step two, then we can look at that and, and work on it. But what I'm actually going to do here is we're just going to go and pick up when they purchase, right? I'm not going to worry about if they've just submitted a form at this stage, but we can talk about that in a later video. So I'm just going to go order form submitted. This means they've actually paid for it, okay? And here it's looking for, okay, we've got order form submitted, but which one? So we need to add a filter and we can select the order form and it says the order form is what? Uh, and we add the filter. So 
it's a global product. So. Okay, so we've got a global product is, and we need, need to select it. And we'll, we need to just go down here and find the sales funnel. There we go, sales funnel masterclass. And, and then we save the trigger. So what that means is when somebody submits the order and makes the payment, we do this. Now, the first thing I'll do in here is I'll actually assign it to myself uh, because we want all the communications to come to me. But if I had a team member, I could actually assign it to a VA. And I only do this because just to keep it standard. So we assign it. Um, there's only one user in here. It's me. I'm going to save, save the action. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is set the event time because we've got the event coming up on Wednesday. So I'm or on Tuesday, US time. Sorry, but um, the confusing bit here is I'm actually in Australia, so I've got to I put it in as a Wednesday time because my um, time zone on this software is set to Australian time. So if I just go and select, okay, uh, event, so let's go set event start date, right? So specific date and time, we select the date and we're now on the 11th. Saturday, Australian time. So Wednesday, my time is the 15th. I'm going to pick that. Uh, and it's looking at set the time. And it'll have to be at 11 a.m., which works out to be 7 p.m. Eastern on the Tuesday. Okay. And I'm just going to set that and save the action. So now we've got the event time. The next thing I want to do is I want to send an email out um, to myself, notification to tell me that somebody has registered. So to do that, we go internal notification and i just search for internal send an internal um i can either send an sms just a notification or an email so in this case i'm going to select an email it's from so here and we can set this to any email you want the type is all users um, and you can type in whatever you like in the email message and usually I, all I type in is we have a, a sales funnel registration from and we hit the custom field here and we look for the contact and full name and that's enough because once that's done, I can go into the CRM system. I can look up that contact name and I can communicate with them from within the system. So I'm just going to save that. Now, the next thing we can do is we can say, OK, uh, I'm going to wait for about five minutes. So we put in a wait, select wait. How many minutes? Let's give it uh, five minutes. Save the action. We'll go send an email. And this time we type in email, not internal. Send an email. And it's from. And actually what I can do is I can pick up here and say uh, the user who is me and I want full name in there. And the again, the user is me and I can pick up email in here. And the subject is um, thank you. Uh, this is an email that goes out to the person that actually paid. So it's, um, whoops, we've got it in memory. What am I doing? So we can um, just put any topic we like in there. If you've got a template preset up, you can use that. If not, you just type it in here. So I'd go and the contact name, first name. So, and you can build this email at, at, at will. So for this exercise, I'm just going to save that. Now, next thing, what do we want to do? Well, we want to wait again. But this time I want to wait. So we got a wait function and it says, what do you want to wait for? Well, I want to wait for the event time. And I want to send a message one day before. So it says here, look at the event time, which we've set earlier. Uh, before and I want to go one day so we just set it one day and, and it'll wait okay so it waits one day before the time of the event 
and and actually what I'll do, let me go in here and just make it. That makes it a bit clearer. So we'll save that. So now it's got waiting one day before, uh, and then we'll send a, a reminder email. Email. Um, again, it's the same thing. So it's from, we set, set the button over here. We go from user, and we can go user full name. Right. And we can go user, user email. Subject is... reminder and then we could type in the link for example and it's um we just put in the person's name to keep it personalized that's contact first name reminder and link and in my case all our um all our and in my case, all our meetings happen through uh, our Zoom link, and which it, for me is nice and easy. And let me do it this way. And we can put a link behind us. So just highlight that, hit the little um, chain icon, and then put in the link. And in my case, it's That's our shortener URL that I registered for the More Marketing Ideas Mastermind. And I can just put in Zoom. Uh, it makes it nice and easy for me to remember. Save that. Save the action. Save the workflow. And publish it. So that's it, guys. That's the page set up. And that probably took us less than 30 minutes. Um, I will actually check the time on the video uh, when we finish, but we've got the landing page and the triggers and the automation all set up so that we can stay in contact with the people that register. Now, the other thing I could do in here is at the beginning, I could put something like um, the order form was submitted. And then we could look at it in say two hours after the first part of the order form was submitted. And if they hadn't completed the order, if you hadn't received the order, then we could take them down a different um, automation funnel or an automation segment over here, uh, inviting them to go back to the cart to to purchase the mastermind. Okay, so so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, we'll go back and have a look at the page. Whoops, it's just warming. I haven't saved it, so let's save that because I hit the publish button, but I didn't hit save. So it's pretty... Um, Pretty handy. So if I go back to sites again, we've got this, the, we're in the workflows automations here. So I need to go back to sites. We need to go down to sales funnel. Right, we need to have a look at the sales funnel itself. And here we've got the link. So if I open up the link, you'll actually see that it's here.